everyone it's moon and on this video i'm going to share with you guys my book called how psychic are you 76 techniques to boost your innate power by julie soskin um this is a really great book i've had it for a while now and i bought this book i think uh i think on ebay it was an ebay lot of like nine books I believe but I had it for a while and I just got to reading it and it's amazing you guys it has so many great things in here this is the table contest and it says uh, discover your psychic potential it talks about what kind of psychic are you it asks you questions so let me show you It has a couple of questions here do you have six cents and then it asks you questions and then you check them and in the bottom it tells you you know what uh what your score was and then they also have identifying your skills um if you're if you're uh, a chandler a medium a shaman <clears throat> excuse me it shows you how to awaken your senses and techniques you could do it shows you how to meditate, breathing exercises. Um, it tells you about breathing, the type of music you can listen to. You know, there's certain type of music that you would feel relaxed to meditate to. The lighting. It has awesome pictures. And then it says this one's turning, oh, tuning into your chakras. It gives you information about the chakras, what you could do to cleanse them. Um, and then it has it has a bunch of these right here, like exercises you could do. Balancing your chakra by breathing in color energy. This book has everything, you guys. It's so, I mean, it's amazing because it actually gives you exercises to do, and to help you develop. Uh, your psychic ability discover your psychic potential activities you could do this is is just awesome looking at the aura aura check your aura reacts to mood people and places you can take a quick look at its main color at any time using this method and then this are the different colors it um it tells you what they are what they mean chakra colors look at how beautiful those pictures are you guys they're just amazing chapter two is extra sensory perception and i'm just showing you guys a book you know if you guys are interested uh you go out and get it this book like i said i got it in a lot uh, but it's usually $18. It might be cheaper if you go to half.com. They do have cheaper books. And in Canada, it's $27. But I think it's worth it, honestly. Um, telepathy boosters. Guiding your perception. Can you see a place you've never been? Can What can an object tell you? Reading an object's energy. Can you sense things in th that others can't? Understanding the language of flowers. It tells you the colors of the flowers. What the flowers say. Now, I haven't gone this far into the book, so I'm kind of like... it's. I mean, it's awesome that I'm seeing this. Bellflower morning. Meet me tomorrow before noon. For hundreds of years, flowers have and used to carry hidden messages. Do you know what's going to happen? A sense of things to come. What do your dreams tell you? It talks about dreams too. It gives you a small list of dream me meanings. Um, it shows you how you could control your dreams. And I know a lot of people don't believe in that, but I've had happen that. I've had um, a couple years ago uh, that happened to me where I had a dream 
I was by the ocean. I was at the beach, and this really, it's going to sound silly, but this really hideous thing came out of the water, and it was trying to attack me. And I remember sitting there thinking, uh, you're, what did I think? I think I said, you're a beautiful woman or something, and it turned into a beautiful woman, and it didn't hurt me. So I kind of controlled my dream there. I wanted it to go a different way. Um, okay, what was I saying? Um... So yeah, I kind of controlled it and, and made it go my way how I wanted it to. I didn't want it to hurt me. <clears throat> and I have been trying to get it to where I dream what I want to dream. But it's really hard. And I this is going to be a really awesome uh, section to read. It talks about lucid dreaming, how the dreams work, directing your dreams, travel to other worlds in your dreams talks about your pets if they're psychic and now to chapter three psychic tools would you recognize love i guess these are talks about the signs birth charts accessing the wisdom of the i ching then it gives you a list Reading tarot gives you a little layout right here. So I'm guessing this is a, the different types of a divination. The Celtic cross gives you a format, developing clairvoyant vision, using a scrying tool, crystal ball, how to do the tea leaf reading. Um, what can a person's hand tell you? It talks about palm reading the ruins what they mean the picture of them using uh, find a rod I guess this shows you how to make it the pendulum how to douse who's got your number I've never tried this before this is pretty cool the numbers and their meetings. Number four, psychic healing. Talks about healing powers, finding the power within you to heal, healing yourself first, healing your garden, top tips for psychic gardening, healing with crystals. Awesome. We all know that crystals are amazing and they have the earth's energy in them. And it's just awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me again, the chakras using sound to heal sing to your chakras healing yourself with colors tells you the colors what it mean what it is white purity spiritual peaceful <clears throat> black silence death how colors heal the time each color needs to take effect varies follow these guidelines and don't exceed the recommended times red seven minutes that's cool. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> Dynamic red, it tells you the type of shades of red, restoring the balance, healing, healing with red, and orange. I'm guessing it gives you all the colors. Encountering spirits, number five. Could you be a shaman? The spiritual path, the journey to the center, going to the outer edge, complete union, a sacred space. Contact with departed spirits. I guess it talks about the Ouija board. I do not do this just because I just don't. I grew up. That's another story. I'll put that in the video. All right. So getting in touch with your spirit guide. Messages from beyond. How to listen to them. Just ask. How to communicate with angels the archangels the names of them angelic meditation reach out to your angel so it gives you steps to do all this you guys how to identify different spirits the last chapter psychic protection shows you how to protect how strong is your aura emergency ac excuse me emergency action i guess it wasn't the last chapter 
Amulets and talismans, what to do to protect you and how to make them. Meeting your guardian angel, invoking your guardian angel. The last, I hopefully it's the last one. Higher consciousness. The mystic way, are you a natural mystic? What is your karma? Channel, ch channeling spiritual messages. Alignment to light. And that's it. So, I mean, I can't wait to read the whole book, you guys. It just seems like an awesome book. I hope I didn't bore you guys and you guys actually saw the whole video. But yeah, if you're interested in any of this, I think this, you should get this book. It's awesome. It's called How Psychic Are You? 76 Techniques to Boost Your Eight Power. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. And once I'm done reading all this, I'll let you guys know how my journey went with this. And bless be. Have a great weekend. Safe, great weekend, you guys. And I will talk to you guys later.